What's going on and welcome on to the channel, PGA Tour 2K23 is out. I've been doing some live streams on YouTube, so you want to make sure that you are subscribed and following those if you want to get all of the tests that I've been running so far. Right now, this video is going to be all about XP. People are going to want to grind this game out as quickly as possible so that way they can get skill points, so that way they can level up, so that way they can get rewards and build out their person so that they can be better than they were yesterday essentially or just better than the rest of the competition that you're going to face in the online society so without further ado don't forget to like and subscribe let's get right into the video i want to cover this before i even talk about the xp and which settings you should go on and that's when you're playing your my career grinding out on the my career is going to be your fastest way you get you level up and you can beat everything it's going to be your fastest way to go about it when you go into your settings for your my career, it doesn't matter if you start on Corn Ferry or PGA, so on and so forth. Put your opponent difficulty to very easy. This has no effect on your XP, but it will affect if you lose challenges. If you lose challenges, you're not going to get XP for beating people. You're not going to get the rewards for beating your rivals. So you want to put your opponent difficulty on very easy. Condition difficulty. Obviously, if you feel like you want to try a challenge and this is more than just a grind session for you then you probably want to go a little bit higher but if this is just a grind session to get equipment to get clothing items to get vc to just level your player up to get all these skill points put the conditions difficulty on easy or very easy once again it has no modification to your actual xp settings you can leave all these settings the same you don't really have to mess around too much with them. You can adjust them, obviously, if you'd like to, but it's not going to mess around with you too much. The next thing that you want to go into is you want to go into your personal settings. So this is where we get into it, and I'm going to show you right after all of this, all of the VC throughout. I, I did multiple swing difficulties. I did multiple different presets. This is It's all going to be different. So... Your multiplier, your XP multiplier, you want to get that as high as possible, but still keep you in a range that you feel comfortable. The goal is to shoot over minus six. So where you feel like you can shoot minus six is where you want to go. But there's key things to this. So when you go through this, there's certain things you can turn off that will help you out. For instance, if you're not really somebody who uses the meter, Turn the meter off. Look at that. I go from 1.93 multiplier all the way to 2.03. If I only use it for percentages or putting only, you're helping yourself out. So even though your swing difficulty may be on pro-am or pro or amateur, find other things in here that you don't need. Do you need your ProVision wind on? No, probably not. You can turn that off. Do you need your elevation ProVision on? No, probably turn that off. Trajectory, scout camera, yeah, I can have it on, or I can turn it, I keep my UI off. Pin preferences, that's not going to make a big difference. Lie grid, do you actually care about the lie grid? No, you can turn that thing off. Because you, you can see the lie. There's certain things here that you can turn on and off that are going to increase your number here and help you out. So obviously, I normally just go right to a master difficulty and then I mess with my swing difficulty after that. I come down here, distance control meter goes off, distance control assist goes off. I'm already at a two times multiplier for my XP. It's, it's pretty beneficial stuff. So you do all this with your settings. Once you got your settings right, now let's dive into the actual XP. What is your goal set for Master, Pro, and Pro-Am? So I'm gonna go into those numbers right now. So let's take a look at all of these. So I tried, all of the modes on every single difficulty just to find out exactly what the difference is for XP and where you're best off going. You want to ask yourself, what difficulty can you shoot better than minus six? I think minus six is a good barometer to get at least a thousand XP per match. And you'll see here, going from top to bottom, this red one, 1029 XP, this was a master difficulty round. I shot minus four on this difficulty. You'll notice that each round complete, you're going to get 432 no matter what. Courses, course challenges are going to be bonuses. So can you complete the course challenges throughout the round 
is going to be what difficulty can you do that on. Difficulty bonus is exactly what I talked about earlier in this video where you want to try to creep up your multiplier as much as possible. So your difficulty bonus is going to be how well you shot and then it's going to be multiplied based off of what your difficulty settings are on. So masters in this red here is 1029 XP. I was minus four on that round. Not too bad. Still pretty good. Purple. Next, 1,028 XP. So I was minus 8 on a pro difficulty. You have to shoot minus 8. If you shoot under minus 8 on a pro difficulty, you're sacrificing at least 150 XP every single time you load into this game. Now let's go to the third one, the, the blue one. This is pro-am difficulty. Very easy difficulty. I got 1,020 XP. I completed a bunch of course challenges. I shot minus nine here. And that wasn't even like a good round. Like you can go even lower and get even more XP. So my recommendation is to go low, to go to the pro-am difficulty because that ensures like even if it's going off the rails, you're still gonna shoot somewhere between minus six to minus 12, or even if you're, you're just a beginner. Don't push the master's difficulty if you don't have to. But if you can get the master's difficulty and you can shoot better than minus six, you have a much bigger opportunity to obviously get more XP. So it, it really comes down to your skill level. The more difficult your settings are, the more XP you're going to get. But at the same time, if you do not play well, you are going to be penalized. For instance, I played on the master's difficulty one time. I got minus two. I only got 898 XP. So I was sacrificing almost 200 XP for that match just because I was playing on the master's difficulty and I did not play well. So pro-am difficulty, even amateur difficulty, I think you can easily shoot low consistently round after round after round. You're going to be winning the competition, so you're going to be getting those bonuses as well. And you're going to be doing well, so you're going to be getting 1,000 XP every single time you go. So my recommendation is stick to the Pro-Am difficulty if you're on the grind. Obviously, if you want a challenge or you're consistent enough to shoot better than minus 6 on a Master difficulty, then I recommend going there. I recommend staying away from the Pro difficulty because the drop off for pro difficulty is very extreme. If you don't play well in pro difficulty, you have a massive drop off. But in the pro am difficulty, it's most likely unlikely that you're going to have a massive drop off because you're going to be able to bounce back on those easy settings. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tip videos along the way. Do what you feel comfortable. Grind it out. Catch you later.